crafting an earthy brown color look is our topic today. Uh, Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. Welcome. So I'm in L.A. right now on location where our team is heading to Adobe Max. Uh, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how to create a really cool earthy tones using just a few simple tools inside Luminar Neo. Let's jump right in. So here we are. This is the original, which is a very good image, but this is what we're going to convert it into. And in doing that, all we're going to do is, I'm going to come over to edit to show you, is after developing the image, you know, I'll do the typical portrait tools, and then we're going to use a mood tool, or the mood. This right here is what's going to give us that vintage look, and I'll make sure this is accessible for you. And then we'll use some of the other settings. So let me start out, and I'm going to reset everything. And now the first thing I want to do is come to develop. And I do want to tone down the highlights, mainly in her face. And then enrich the black tones. And just bump up the whites just a little bit. And now watch super contrast. Look at this. That's going to be the key for what we're about to do next. All right, so I have that set. I like what it's looking like. But now let's jump over here to the portrait tools. And we're going to deal with her face first. So here. Um, I don't need to add uh, the, the face light here. Um, I, if anything, maybe bump it up just a little bit. But her eyes, I do want to play with a little bit. And I enhance her. Now, what you don't see is there's stained glass windows. That's why you have the unique look in her eyes. So, again, I had her looking into a stained glass window. Let's see any dark patches under her eyes. Nope. That looks good. Cool the eyebrows just a little bit. Great. Now let's make her lips just a little saturated. There we go. Look at that. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. Before, after, yep, I like where it's, where it's heading. Now let's go to the skin. And I'm going to touch the skin up just a little bit, not too much, because she's already had, she already has nice complexion. Let's see if there's any shine. Nope, we're good there. All right, so we're good up to this point. Now, this is where we come in with the creative tools. And I want to start with our mood tool. And I already added, let's see, uh, add custom LUTs. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to add one I've already added, and that is the vintage look. All right, now I'm going to dial it out, or back out a little bit. So here it is without the effect. Here it is with the effect full. Let's dial it in to where, to where it starts to look good. Contrast again. I'm going to desaturate just a little bit. And again, this is just a taste. All right, let's see the difference before. All right, good. After that looks good. So I like where that's at. Now I'm going to come in here with the matte tool. This is what's going to help me sell it. Look at this. So I'm going to crunch or fade the blacks a bit. But when I do this, I love what it's doing to everything but her face. So let's come over here to brush. And I want to erase the effect. And let's just go to low opacity for now. And I'm going to paint over her face area here. There we go. Let's see it. Yeah, there we go. So I like what it's doing with everything, but I didn't want it on her face. So we have that set. Now, since I applied the matte tool, let's see what Structure AI is going to do for us. Because I took away a lot of the structure. Okay, yeah, that's going to help us bring it back. Look at that. Let's go right about here. There we go. All right. I like how that's looking. And now I'm going to do just a few quick cleanups. So let's come over here to the Erase tool. And I want to erase whatever the heck this is up on top. And 
there right in a second. Now, I do know I photographed this at a very, very high ISO. Get rid of that right there. Yeah, I intersected. I think it looks good. I have one more. Get rid of the clone tool would be a good choice there. All right, so let's see. I'll come over here. And I did shoot this at, well, okay, 1800. 1800 ISO isn't too bad. But let's come over and go to the bottom. Now, when I do this, all the effects are going to be hidden for a moment. And, yep, it's giving me the suggestion of using middle adjustment for the noiseless AI. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, that gave a little, a little change, but that's fine. Here we go. Give it a second to render. So here we are before. There we go. And after. Good. And let me finish it off with a vignette. So I want to draw the eye to the subject. So let's do this. Good. That looks good. Right about there. That's it. And give it a second to render. Oh, you know what? It didn't add it, so let me check it again. Vignette. Apply this. There we go. There we go. And now I do want to add, I do want to add a little inner light to her face. Just to talk. Let's see if it makes a difference. Look at this. Before. After, it's a little too much, but we'll dial it right there. There we have it. All right. So once again, went from this to this, and I would, I'll clean this up a little bit more with a clone and stamp tool. But overall, I love what we did here. So the takeaway here is that mood tool. I, look what that mood tool is doing. That right there is the LUTs lookup table. And what that's doing for us right there is it's substituting those colors for us to make it look this sharp, all right? So there we have it, a simple way of developing the earthy brown tones in our image, all right? Now, if you're here for the Ask Me Anything segment, please stick around so you can ask any question you want. For everyone else, keep in mind you're welcome to join us. Here's our coffee break. Uh, we're doing it Monday and Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern time, and there's the link. You can follow right there if you want to join us live and then stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment. All right. So thanks for joining us and I'll see you at the next coffee break.